everyone, it's Danny. Long time no see. I'm sorry it's been so long since I last made a video. I think it's probably been about a month now, which is terrible, but I've just been so busy. I've been moving and then I was busy with work and things just keep getting in the way and to be honest, sometimes I just can't be bothered to do my hair and makeup, so then I can't film. <laughs> So today I thought I would film a homeware haul as I moved around six weeks ago now and although I did take quite a lot of the things that I had in my old flat with me, I did need a few more new things and I wanted to change the colour scheme up a little bit. So I've got a load of things piled on my bed along with on the floor next to me so I'm just going to get started so this video isn't way too long. Oh and before I start I wanted to say a really big thank you to all of you new subscribers. I've been gaining quite a lot recently and I think it's due to my fashion haul. Let me know if you came over from that video. So I've got a few bits which are already in their places and they're kind of like furniture and things like that so I don't really want to move them so I think I'm just going to show you little cutaway clips of them and talk about them now. So one of the things I bought was a new bedside table because my other one was kind of like an outside table. I got it from the garden section I think of Ikea and I actually do have a balcony now which is nice to sit out on so I've put that table outside and I bought a nice marble bedside table as I've wanted one for so long. So this one's from Atkin and Time and I really loved it as it's got really pretty brass legs in sort of a crisscross pattern which makes it a little bit more interesting and the marble is kind of like a more muted marble. It's not really contrasty white and black, it's more of like a grey subtle marble which makes it look a bit more expensive I think and yeah I really like it. It was only around £150 or maybe even less so I thought that was really good value. And then on the other side of the bed where my boyfriend sleeps I got a kind of shelving unit thing as I had a lot of shelves in my old bedroom but the ceilings were a lot lower in this flat and the walls aren't really best for drilling in so I thought I'd get a leaning shelf to put on that side so that you can have it as kind of a bedside table and I also can put some of my knickknacks and things on it. So this was just from eBay and it was about £30 and it was quite difficult to put together but it looks really nice now that it's complete. And then also in my bedroom I got a new chair for my dressing table as I used to have my dressing table in the hallway as there just wasn't room in my old flat but now that I have room for a real dressing table I've got a nice pretty chair and I've always wanted a diamond chair. I think they're just so pretty and I really like whole metal and then you can have nice throws and things on them so I bought one from the shabby store I think it was so I got one in the chrome the silver with a white cushion and then I've just put a white fur rug from Ikea on it and a really pretty big cushion on it which is kind of like a velvety suede and a blush pink which I also got from the shabby store and I really love how it looks all together and then to go under my desk I just got a really pretty wire copper basket to put my rubbish in because I just don't like bins so I wanted a pretty one. <laughs> so I think that's everything in the bedroom and then in the bathroom I just got a few new things so I got some new hand soaps from the white company. I got the mint one, I can't remember what the other smell in it is but yeah it's the mint one and you'll see anyway and I also got a little copper basket again but this time it's for all my face towels and hand towels just so they're all in one place nice and neat because sometimes I find that if I try and pile them up on a shelf or anything they can just fall over and look terrible so yeah I got that and it works really well oh and I also got the matching reed diffuser to go with the soap because I love the smell of it so this is how the reed diffusers come, this is the one I've got in the bathroom, the wild mint, peppermint and white tea which matches the soap and this just smells so nice and it's really nice and fresh for the bathroom and it's not too overwhelming, it just makes everything smell fresh. <laughs> so I really like this one in particular because it is a kind of china bottle so it looks a lot more expensive and you can refill it. It comes with a bigger 50ml bottle of the diffuser liquid so you just pour it in as and when you need more you kind of fill up halfway or so and yeah so that's lasted me quite a while at the moment I don't know if you can buy like refillable bottles for it or not I'm gonna have to look into that but if you can that would be really good and then whilst I'm here talking about reed diffusers I also picked up the Blanc reed diffuser from the white company and this one lives in my lounge and this just smells really nice it's geranium juniper and patchouli and yeah I really like it it smells nice in the lounge because it's not too overpowering it's just really nice again and fresh and a little bit warming and yeah it's just really nice and homely. I think that's pretty much everything that I can't really show you. I have got a few vases dotted around. I've kept the boxes for some of them so that I can show you. So one of them is the Oliver Bonus Bubble Stem Vase and I got this just to put on my little shelf next to my bed because it's a really small vase and you can just put a few little flowers in it or like it states some stems and it looks really pretty and I really like the texture of the vase. 
And also from Oliver Bonus, I picked up the honeycomb vase. This is the larger size with the gold honeycomb. It is behind me. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. I'll probably insert a clip. But it's just so lovely. It's really nice and big, so it works for really big bouquets of flowers. And it looks so pretty with peonies in, although I'm really sad that peony season is nearly over. And then the final vase I picked up is the bubble vase from Oliver Bonus and I really like this one because again it has bubbles all over so it's a really nice interesting texture and it's kind of like a really big cylinder base and then it has a smaller opening at the top so it means you have, don't have to fill it with quite so many flowers but it just looks so pretty and it has my fake hydrangeas in it at the moment which I will insert a clip of I forgot to talk about them but yeah they're just so pretty I got them from Neptune which is a shop near me I don't know if they are everywhere but I'll link the website down below anyway I don't think they were too expensive but they are so so pretty and they look really real they look a lot more real than the ones in John Lewis I think and I think they're a bit cheaper so something which I bought for the kitchen, which I haven't actually used yet because it's been sat here waiting for me to film this video, is a spiralizer. And I got this one from the Steamer Trading Company. It's a shop near me. I'll link it down below or one similar if I can find it. And this is just a bigger spiralizer, so it's a lot more easy to use. It's got a few different blades. And I just thought this would be really good for making courgette and other vegetable spaghettis. It's really nice to make vegetables into spaghetti for salads rather than actually cooked meals because I find it's a good way to get more vegetables in other than just lettuce. And then a couple more things for the kitchen. I picked up a set of gold cutlery from Argos because we actually go through so much cutlery even though it's just me and my boyfriend and we're constantly washing it up so I thought I'd buy some more and I really wanted gold cutlery so it looks pretty in my Instagram photos which I know it's kind of lame but I really like it. So I've just used a few for now so I kept them in the box to show you so they come with quite a few different pieces. They come with the big spoons and then the forks and the knives and the little spoons. So this is what they look like, they're really great quality, they're actually really heavy and really well made and the ones I have washed the gold hasn't faded at all so that's really great and you get 6 of each thing so there's 24 pieces total and I think they were about £20 so I think that's really good value to be honest for really nice pretty cutlery. And then also from Argos I picked up this really pretty honeycomb wine rack, this is kind of like a brassy kind of colour and I just think it's so nice and it's so cute for storing wine, you could also store things like squash, stuff like that. It. I haven't actually put any wine in it so far so that's a bit disappointing and then finally for the kitchen are these super cute little tumblers which I got from Oliver Bonus I just thought they'd be so nice for the summer to make cocktails in or have little lemonade drinks or fruit waters or something like that in they're just so pretty and they're really nice for little picnics or little parties or anything like that so my flat that I've moved into now is really really dark I'm using a studio light right now even though it's super sunny outside because the light just does not come in so I had to buy a lamp for my hallway because I don't really like harsh ceiling lights so I wanted a lamp so that it would be a little bit more ambient so I picked up this one which is from Amazon and it's just really nice and simple but a little bit modern it's got this copper base it's like a geometric wire base and then it has just a simple black big light shade frame and yeah I really like it the wire does show through the bottom obviously which is a bit annoying and kind of bugs me but I really like this lamp and I do need a bulb for it but once I do I will put it in the hallway and it will look great so in my old flat the color scheme in the lounge was kind of like gray and coral and duck egg blue because it was quite a modern flat and it was wooden floors and white walls so I went for that but for this flat because it's a little bit more homely and it's got creamy carpets and the ceilings are a bit lower and it's a bit darker I wanted to go for kind of a lighter colour scheme so I've gone for blush pink and cream with a few bits of green and gold thrown in to break it up so firstly for the lounge I picked up this cushion which I believe is from Laradu. I'll link it down below anyway but it's just so pretty, it's kind of a palm leaf print but it's not too in your face, it's just got the outline and it's really nice, it's kind of like a woven fabric on the front which is nice it's quite thick and heavy so I really like this one and it's really nice thrown in with the other cushions so the other two cushions I got are again from Neptune and I will link that shop down below and they are these pretty blush pink cushions they're kind of like a thicker woven fabric again so they're really nice and heavy and worth the money because they were a little bit more expensive but they're a really nice dusty pink and this one just has a kind of cross embroidery detail on the front and then this one has a white pattern on it which I really like they're both the same size so they match perfectly and I think they look really nice 
So finally for the lounge is a throw. I bought myself a nice fluffy cream throw. As I said, I wanted to make the colour scheme more cream and blush pink. So I thought this was perfect and it's just so cosy. I use it almost every night to snuggle under and it's just so nice and soft and I definitely recommend it. Oh, and it's from Laradoo. And then finally, I have a few more bedroom bits and I forgot to mention my bedding because there are some cushions behind me. I'm not sure if you can see them, but I'll insert a clip anyway. I just picked up a couple of creamy white cushions. One is a really nice fluffy furry cushion from Laradoo and the other one is a more simple kind of ruched white cushion which I think is also from Laradoo. And they look really nice together with my other cushions. And I also picked up this kind of checkered really subtle checkered bed sheets. The lines are kind of half grey, half black, so it's a lot more subtle and it's not like a really harsh checker, which I really like, and it looks really nice with the rest of my bedding. And they're really comfy and I love sleeping in my bed. It's just so nice and soft and cosy with all the bedding. <laughs> so just a few more bits for the bedroom, and the first thing I picked up was this tissue box holder. And I got this from Amazon, and it's a really nice heavy white material, I don't know what it's made from, but I just got this because I always have to have tissues by my bed, but if you're buying the really nice pretty boxes, they can get quite expensive, so I thought if I get this, I can just get any old box and it doesn't have to match my decor and it will save me a lot of money, and yeah, I can always have the tissue box looking nice and crisp and clean. So the very final thing I picked up, and another thing from Oliver Bonus, is this jewellery stand, and I absolutely love this, it's just so pretty, it's a kind of palm tree and it has a little base at the bottom so you can put rings and things in and it's just so perfect for hanging all my necklaces on. I can't fit all of them on there but I have got all of my favourites on here and yeah I just really love it and it's really nice and tall so it's good for longer necklaces, not really long ones but kind of like mid-length necklaces. So yeah it's really nice and well made and I think it was about £20 so not too bad. So that is everything for my homeware haul, I really hope you enjoyed it, I will link everything down below so that you can take a further look at everything if you're interested in buying some of the things I mentioned. Let me know what your favourite piece is and let me know if you've picked up any nice homeware bits lately that you think I'll like. Again, I'm just so sorry it's been so long since I last made a video, I will make sure to make them more regular from now on, I'm just really planning my schedule to make sure I can fit everything in. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you like my homeware videos and you'd like to see more videos like this, and please do subscribe to see more of my videos, and also check out all of my social media links which will be in the description box. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time, bye!